What is good, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Welcome back to the Fox's Den. It's your boy Foxy getting in another reaction. Finally, feeling a lot better, a lot, a lot better. Like we're really close to 100%. You can hear it in my voice. My voice sounds fucking drastically different from the past three episodes that we watched for reactions, and that's exactly what we're getting into right now as well. We're getting into it a little wait, a little wait late this week as well. Today is currently Friday, I believe. Is it Friday? Is it Friday, motherfucker? What? Yeah, it's Friday. So we got new episodes coming out this weekend already for new shit. Uh, and it literally tomorrow and Sunday. So, you know, getting to the last stuff from last week, this past weekend, a little bit late. But it's all good. We're going to finish some things up. We're finishing up Ninja Kamui. That's what we're getting into right now. Thank fucking God, because this shit really had me intrigued at the beginning, as most people. You know, I think whenever they started this show, like, holy shit, this is pretty fucking cool. You know what I'm saying? This is dope as fuck. The hand-to-hand -hand combat ninjas, like, yo, this is a, this is dope. And then they kind of threw us for a loop with those fucking mechs and the and the CGI. Even though I'm usually not one to complain about CGI, it's just the timing that they decided to start heavily inputting that type of animation. Like, don't fucking suck me in with this crazy 2D hand-to-hand -hand combat choreography that looks fucking great and then you bring out these mechs and enter in this cgi that feels like they just fucking did it to do it you know what i'm saying like it didn't look that crazy fucking groundbreaking or anything the only thing the only time we really saw the cgi actually take off and perform pretty well was in the um the episode 10 at the end of it whenever fucking he gone and reaper fought in their mechs against each other for like fucking two minutes and that was it <laughs> so yeah this show's been kind of up and down like they started off really really fucking hype and then the hype started to die down um so i'm hoping for a strong finish here with episode 12 and uh we left off with joseph somehow being saved uh, on that helicopter, Yamaji taking control and trying to do what he wants. Uh, he gone winning against Reaper and Reaper kind of starting to, I think, notice his regrets in his life dealing with that despair. So I'm curious to see what the fuck happens in this finale because this is the last episode for the season. So without further ado, let's get into the reaction. If you guys enjoy it, please like down below, comment, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell so the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. Ninja Kamui episode 12. Oh, that's right, the doctor pulled up on him. Oh, it's not your physical state. That's smart as hell. Yeah. He's, his, his mental is starting to get fucking heavily weighted on him. I was about to say, what the fuck was that? Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. That's a crazy twist. And they throw us that they throw us that in the beginning of the episode? Okay. Alright. Here we go. That's his old ninja chief. Interesting. What the fuck? Right, let's get it. Come on. The fuck is going on with this fucking old ninja chief, bro? That's a crazy twist all of a sudden. Damn, okay, she's still going the fuck off. I'm telling you, they were lovers or something. She started, like, actually falling for Joseph or some shit. Because why else would she disobey Yamaji in, in the current state? Even though she did, he did order him at, or order her at first to do this stuff, like, protect him and whatnot. Oh, shit. Bro, fuck your palace. Like, bro, you gotta get the fuck. Or else you're dead. Oh my god. Bodies on bodies on bodies. He's actually kind of spitting right now, but like, what the- why the fuck do we need to do all this shit with the ninjas then? Maybe because they had money? Oh, 
Because it takes money to do anything in this world. Because it kind of makes sense. I mean, you can't really, like, do, like, some crazy shit like that. Unless you're kind of insane because you're going against all, like, the top powers in the world that want to control shit. Dude, he's dodging her shit like it's nothing, bro. Are you seeing this what I'm talking about? What the fuck is with these mechs, bro? And they're all dead, besides you. Damn. He has his own suit. We're gonna pull out his own suit now. Of course. Perfected version, right? Oh my fucking god. What? That's a, that's the difference between a prototype and a perfected fucking mech? Nah, that's fucking crazy. Why do we have to deal with prototypes then? We should have just gotten the full product right from the get-go. Like, she got fucked up. Bro, look at it. She can't believe it. Oh, yep, she done. Done. Wow. He mopped her the fuck up. What are you gonna do now, Joseph? And what is he gone doing? What are we doing here, bro? Yeah, that was the chief that fucking... Yeah, he was the chief of the old age. So Japan itself stopped trusting their own ninja? That's... Okay, that's interesting. Oh, I guess it's because it's, yeah, it's in a modern world. They're starting to abandon, like, the ideals of ninja because it's, like, an ancient organization. Is he like showing him like he gone like these memories or something or like his inner thoughts? Ah, uh, fuck! He was right. True that, yeah. Wow. A small step, but a necessary step. Yeah, Yamaji, I was about to say, Yamaji is a completely different breed. That's my fucking hardcore, bro. Yeah, 
What do you mean a greater peace? Like, what are you trying to do? Like, fucking annihilate everybody else besides fucking Japan? Became a dark, dark path. Oh, so that's why he's basically just kind of like a doctor now. Like, he can't, like, fight. He can't fight anymore as a ninja. So he's formally asking him to, like, stop Yamaji, which is what he was going to do fucking regardless. For me. For yeah, for the people that he's made friends along the way, who gave me life again. That's fucking. That's that's what's up. There we go. Bro, don't look at me like that, you bitch ass partner, bro. Bro, I don't know if you noticed yet. I mean, you should sure since you've been his partner for so long, but Mike stands on business. Stupid bitch. No shit. Anybody could have guessed that, brother. You're not that far up in the system. Bro, you think so, but like the ninjas are fucking done with Alza. Like they are throwing him to the side. Like Alza's, I feel like Alza's literally gonna fall. Like this is literally the end of Alza already. And then all the ninjas got out of it was the perfected Gusoku gear. And now they can do whatever they want with that gear. And they said, fuck Alza. They just used them for the technology. Dude, I told you Mike's standing off business, bro. Yo, why am I getting so high from this, bro? Mike's like, yo, you better fucking decide for your own self what to do now. People died for this shit. Yep. You've been too content with that high position of yours, bitch. Do the right thing. How hard is it to do the right thing? From my point of view now, they better fight? <laughs> yeah, okay. Bro, yeah, see, you know, Mike whooping your ass, bro. Okay, all right, you got good punch back, whatever, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're behind that fucking glass like what the fuck All right, so what's the difference? What's the main difference between like the prototypes and this perfected gear? Does he not have to charge this bitch? He can just use it however, however much he wants. Oh All right, look at all them <laughs> All right, well, he, there you go. There's his fucking 
Conviction, he ain't going down without a fight. Oh, nah, yeah. Secretary of Defense, sorry. Sorry, girl, you're done. They can fly? Oh, nah, bruh. Bro, how many fucking are there? Bro, it's literally like world domination from fucking Ninja Mex. Like, okay, bad. What, what an interesting fucking plot. If how, how do they have this many fucking suits perfected for the normal ninja folk besides Yamaji, like under him? How do they have so many of those when they didn't for these other characters that we met earlier in the show? Big D, Dilly, fucking like, hello? Uh huh. And what the fuck's with his eye? He has two pupils in that eye. Okay, awesome, dude. Or two, yeah, two pupils or whatever the fuck. Two, two eyes in one. What an interesting fucking finale, bro. That was a lot, and I feel like it kind of ended randomly right there. Well, at least with the cliffhanger with Yamadi's eye or whatever, like his right eye. But the rest of it set up pretty good for like what the direction's going into you know what i'm saying like yamaji's trying to take over the fucking world with fucking mechs in his ninja organization and uh that's pretty much it and yeah wow interesting <laughs> he just wants to fuck everything up and then and create an eternal peace for japan i guess or at least maybe not even japan itself either like maybe just like his organization just the clan you know what i'm saying like, goddamn, bro, you gotta take everybody else out, huh? Jesus. Alrighty, guys, what another great episode of Ninja Kamui. The last one, the finale for season one. If there is gonna be another season, I have no fucking clue because, like, we've been talking about, the hype kind of died down for this show as we've been getting into it more and more through the past. How long was this out? Three months. Uh, the beginning was great, you know what I'm saying? The first episode, super strong start, you know, and then, like, it starts leading you, it starts getting you excited, like, okay, what else is gonna happen? And then you get to around episode four and five, and these mechs start coming out, and it's like, alright, what the fuck's going on? Especially with a lot of, like, I feel like there was a lot of content in the middle of the season that was just kinda, like, unnecessary. Like, it was just, it almost felt like it was filler. Like, we would talk about what we were gonna do, attempt it fail and then we just be talking with the characters like the characters would be just talking to each other for like the rest of the episode it felt like i was like dude what are we doing it almost felt like we weren't really getting stuff done and, and just doing a lot of like there was just a lot of dialogue and then like one thing would happen within the episode and, the, and then it kind of wouldn't go our way and then like boom like on to the next episode like at first like with higan like trying to infiltrate the city and then he couldn't and then they let him in, and then he meets the mechs, and then he fucking, you know, gets defeated, and then, you know, gets saved by Emma, who we didn't know was Emma at the time. And then the next episode, he learns about the suits, and Emma, and he gets his own suit. But they're just talking about the suit the whole time instead of... But then Big D's, like, coming in to find them or whatever, and, and then he's learning to a trap, and is not actually fighting them. And then at the very end, that's when fucking finally that small dude, that small ninja guy, the midget fucking comes and... You know finds them on the truck and, and it starts attacking them and the episode ends you know what i'm saying like it was really i feel like the timing was kind of weird and in, in the pacing i'm not i'm not sure I, is this based off of a manga or comic i'm not i can't remember if it is or not that's just some of the general feelings i had throughout watching this week by week and uh especially in the middle of the in the middle of the season like the like episodes like five through fucking like nine were just like 
okay what's going on bro like we got we got to make some sort of progress here and do something you know what i'm saying and then they, they they'd be hyping up these mechs and you know some of the fights were just not that crazy you know what i'm saying especially like he and big d he gone fucking somehow gets the better of big d and just fucking uses his foot to stab big d and basically big d's like all right i accept defeat and then he self-destructs from the fucking suit because of joseph implementing that into those suits and it's like bro we barely saw the fucking fight how the fuck did you get like he just literally tapped his foot on a fucking sword and stabbed him and the suit just disperses and it's like dude what it was not that crazy but at the end of the day i think this show is definitely pushing the boundaries of like combining certain uh genres because i definitely wasn't expecting that mech sort of thing who knows if it's really gonna work if they're coming back with another season if it's gonna be even more crazy if it's gonna like you know if they're gonna you know what different decisions they're gonna make if they're gonna keep on using the cgi and the same look for the uh the ninja mechs or like i don't know why they wouldn't have just kept it all 2d and just had different abilities or you know super strength or whatever for the mechs like because like in the hand-to-hand -hand combat it's like nice and fluid 2d animation and then once the mechs come out it's this weird cgi sit which most of the time i don't mind cgi but in this show the cgi definitely looked kind of weird at times and it, al it also looked good in some moments when they really tried but in some moments when they were just trying to like finish whatever they were like you kind of tell they were just trying to get the scene done the CGI looks kind of eh. Like with the big D versus Higan shit, like the CGI was like eh. Like we barely saw the fight, but when you did, the CGI was like really poking out like what the fuck is that? But then like we get like Reaper versus Higan in the mechs at the end of episode 10, CGI looks pretty fucking good. So it's like, all right, whatever. Right? You can't win, I guess. You know, you can't always win. But that's up to them on their decision making. I'm excited to see where this goes. This episode, this last episode pretty set us up pretty well, you know. On where we're going and Yamaji's just trying to fucking take over the world it seems like he's attacking the fucking white house uh is is ninjas are attacking the fucking secretary of defense which was the one that like kind of initiated this whole thing for the ninjas to be able to come to america or you know get involved with alza or whatever uh joseph has uh worn out for his rest because mike finally talked to his old partner and got his fucking head back on his shoulders and shit you know what i'm saying and really challenged his shit by leaking that info online and was like yo make a fucking decision bruh like i know you're searching for that fucking itch again you know to like do something right for once you've been too busy fucking answering with fucking orders and just trying to fucking you know float off into retirement it's like nah bro do the fucking right thing mike was standing on business that shit was hyping me up and then we see he gone getting his perspective of the story from his old chieftain or his old ninja chief and who's actually still alive but just can't use his ninja abilities anymore because Yamaji actually did kill him but like apparently he's like a cat or something I don't fucking know he has nine lives whatever that's the you know classic trope with or, 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 or saying with cats and so he can't use his ninja abilities anymore but he is still alive and he has a disguise obviously and that's why he looks like this doctor that we've always seen since the beginning of the show but it's really his old ninja chief and he goes on you know to talk about like kind of like the history of like the ninja clan how it's ancient and like how japan started to leave it behind or not trust it anymore because it's an asian organization that you know is you know kind of outdated as you can as you you, you could probably see because of just like the modern times that this universe is in which is pretty much the same modern times that we're in you know what i'm saying it's kind of like a reflection it's trying to it's trying to you know combine like a modern world that we can relate to with a ninja world and in doing that since there's advanced technology and whatnot that's where i guess this mech idea came from which yeah i can see the correlation but it was definitely weird when those first were introduced but yeah the chief goes on to explain the history of that and like how he was struggling to find out something to push the ninja clan further other than just the code since the code is kind of like a curse enjoyed watching the three you know reaper mary and egon you know like them three becoming a team and like how they like protected each other and like you know didn't ag completely ignore their emotions and whatnot and he found that he was really fond of that and then he also saw yamaji which was the complete opposite of those three that like you know like just was like he's like the he's like an extremist like he feels like he has to do this to like create like a perfect world for ninjas uh which is just like basically looks what it seems like fucking everybody else up 
So that was definitely a huge twist that we got in the beginning of this, this episode. It's like, oh shit, the, the old ninja chief's still alive? But okay. We see now why he's been hiding and why he can't do anything is because he doesn't have his ninja abilities. So that's why he's taking it upon himself to ask Egon, like, yo, please, you know, take care of you know, take care of Yamaji. Which he was gonna do regardless. And he gone at himself at the end, like, I'm not doing this for the fucking clan. I'm not doing this for the organization. I'm doing this shit for my friends and for the ones that keep me alive. I, he said something along the lines of that, that, or like, want me to stay alive or or, or, or kept me alive to this point. Something like that, you know what I'm saying? The, the friends that he made throughout his life and uh, the ones that he helped, you know, he, he holds dear and close to him, you know what I'm saying? That's... uh or anybody that's helped him out, like truly helped him out, or, you know, actually been a genuine person, he's doing it for them. It's so like Emma, Mary, obviously his wife, fucking his kid, uh, Mike, Jason, like everybody that's been actually putting an effort into trying to do thing, do the right thing and like, you know, stop this corrupt bullshit. So really cool stuff all around. That was a pretty good finale. I can't complain. They set it up pretty well and like the, to the next point. I don't know if this is going to get renewed or not. Like I don't know if we're actually going to get another season of this. If we are, it's definitely not going to be for a good while. But if we do, I wouldn't mind continuing just to see what's good. I mean, we've already gotten through 12 episodes, so we might as well continue it, right? You know what I'm saying? If it, if it gets renewed and it comes back with another season, I'll definitely continue it. Um, and just hope that they execute you know a little bit better on just you know i guess the like maybe we get a better arc or core or, you know like kind of like the plot and stuff because like the mechs just coming out of nowhere and, and like kind of baiting us with the fucking 2d animation in the beginning of the show like that was kind of weird you know what i'm saying so i mean maybe we at least now we know what to expect a certain to a certain extent like maybe my expectations are not as high now that i've finished this first season instead of before where I watched the first episode and I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be the best shit fucking ever. Nope. It wasn't, it wasn't the best shit ever, but it's still pretty fucking good. So yeah, that leaves us off with Ninja Kamui. I enjoyed watching it and, uh, you know, definitely was a little bit of a letdown in some aspects, but still a really cool and interesting watch. Uh, and I still find it just cool in general that there was such a combination of like work on this show, you know, Adult Swim in America, which is under Warner Brothers, uh, Solo Entertainment, which has to do with Sung Park, Sung Hoo Park, I think his name is, in Korea, uh, and then obviously whatever studio in Japan, you know, there's a, ni a nice combination of work on this, on this, uh, on this project, which is still just cool in itself, so that was dope. But yeah, that wraps us up with Ninja Kamui, I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction series so far, that's gonna do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If y'all did, please do like down below, comment, subscribe for new, and hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. I'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.